Hi everybody, I am back with another video and today I wanted to do an unboxing of the Olive Edition. I just got it today, I picked it up from my um, former co-worker and she took a trip recently to Japan um, in the second to the last week of March and she just got back on Sunday. So I was able to pick up the traveler's notebook from her and I asked her to get me the notebook as well as the pen loop but she kind of had like a crazy schedule like it wasn't really going as planned so I wasn't gonna I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it but it was okay so I told her it was fine if she couldn't fit it in her schedule but she was able to get the notebook itself but by the time she got there she said that the pen loop had already been sold out but anyways let's get started with the unboxing and then I'll probably transfer the stuff that I have in my black and then start using the olive edition I don't really use um, multiple travelers notebooks at a time I kinda like to stick with one and I'm just gonna transfer all the inserts that I have in my current one and I just kinda use um, what color or whatever color I feel for the day and that's how I do it. I don't like to carry multiples unless it's um, my regular size and the passport. I don't carry two regular sizes at a time because I mean it gets pretty chunky like this one right now and this is only two inserts. Anyways let's get started. So I haven't opened this yet, but as you can already see, it does say Olive Edition. So she didn't really get it packed. Usually, if you get um, if you get it packaged, or um, I think if you tell them that it's a gift, they'll put it in this nice, crispy, crunchy um, paper bag, and it says Have a Nice Trip, Traveler's Factory, and then they also um, kind of. They use some kind of um, a string to to like kind of secure it, and then they put a little sticker as well as a um, traveler's tag. I have one that I got from Japan, and so this is what it looks like. It says Traveler's Factory, and then this is the string that it comes with. So this is the camel color leather. I guess you could use it as a charm for your um, traveler's notebook, but I kind of didn't want to scratch it. So I just um, securely keep it in one of my um, acrylic cases. So they use their washi tape that says Traveler's Factory. So beautiful. So it's it's like the um, all of the other packaging that they do. It says Olive Edition, and then it tells you the contents that's inside. So you get the cotton bag, um, the olive uh, leather cover, and then you also get the refill, which is a blank, and then a spare rubber band. And this is what it looks like up front. And it says Olive Edition Traveler's Notebook. And it also has a kind of olive-y um, insert paper. And then it says Olive. So it comes with a cotton canvas bag that um, all the other traveler's notebooks that they provide. Oh, it's so beautiful. Some of the pictures that um, people have posted who have already bought them, 
it kind of like looked more um, brownish but this is more of like a army army green I guess you could say that in um, in the US so it's already it already has some kind of scratches which I'm okay with <laughs> my first uh, traveler's notebook I always wanted it to be nice and pristine no scratches at all but kind of tells a story so I'm okay with it so this is this is it opened and then this is it comparison this is a comparison between my black and the olive it's it's beautiful I didn't expect it to be that it was gonna be this nice actually so it's like it is like the camel it's going to scratch um, easily and I kind of don't want to scratch it yet but um, the most success that I've found that doesn't have um, that doesn't scratch easily is my black like it could go like this all I want and you won't really be able to see the scratch unless you look up close so this is what the olive looks like it's beautiful so if you're thinking about buying it it's already sold out um, I think the next restock is sometime in the summer possibly June and I will go grab my other notebooks to give you guys a color differential or a color comparison so this is what the black looks like in comparison to the green or the olive you can see that and then this is my camel this one scratches easily as you can see um, I don't know what happened here this is the camel and then this is the camel and the olive in comparison. And then this is my blue. This one, this one is uh, similar to the black, where it doesn't really scratch easily unless you, um, you kind of force whatever is scratching it. So I have a few scratches, but it's not as bad as the uh, camel. And then this is it close up. This, this is this is my blue now. It's kind of patinaed. Uh, and then this is the forest green on cam uh, blue. And then I also have um, my brown airport edition. So as you can see here, there's a big difference between the olive and the brown. It kind of, I believe, contrasting comparing these two gives you a better look at um, what the olive color really is and then I also have my old brown and so this um, airport one I just got recently it's not even a month old but this is my old brown and then this is the newer brown so you can also see the comparison between the two and then the comparison between the three so this is what the green looks like or the sorry I keep calling it green but it's the olive color so this is a comparison between my two browns and the olive. So it's a really gorgeous color. It's not it's not what I would call a doo doo green. <laughs> if you don't know what doo doo is, it's poop or feces. But this is what um, my traveler's notebook collection looks like now. So I will go ahead and set up my olive, and I will just be transferring whatever I have in my black. I still need to get me um, a new brass label because I ran out so I will be ordering that today. Um, I have a blue uh, zip insert, canvas zip insert from the Traveler's Notebook. And maybe I'll be ordering a yellow soon since I think it would look nice with the olive. I didn't really want to get the olive color um, back when I was in Japan, so I probably will be getting it. But I might change my mind, we'll see. So I'll just go ahead and remove all my stuff. I also had to find a new charm for it. My favorite charm so far is the Traveler's Notebook tag, as you can see here.
So what I always have in my traveler's notebook is my blue canvas um, insert from the traveler's factory. It has a zipper and inside the zipper I have my um, my plastic sheet and I like the, I like to use the smaller one because it fits in here nicely compared to the regular size. It wouldn't have it wouldn't fit so I would have to kind of just shove it in. I have a few stickers, um, a few stamps that I got from Momo Loves Paper. I still need to um, put them in my stamp collection. A few stickers, bandages, tickets, photo, and my cat opener, a uh, page opener that I won from Ava and Lucky's giveaway. Thank you, Ava. And then I also have some washi samples. And then my um, 2017 Starbucks card that I got from Momo Loves Paper. Um, a business card from Jen. <laughs> a Sakura cookie wrapper. This was really yummy. And more washi. And then in here I have my emergency money envelope. I have a few um, I have a few point cards, stickers, coupons, more stamp cards, and tickets. So I always put this one in first. And then, um, I'm not sure if I'll be using the color band that came with this notebook. So I probably won't be using this one. Um, I have extras and I have the, the kit. So I'll probably pick, be picking from one of these. Maybe I'll be using, I don't know, maybe I'll go with the orange. And then I have uh, a few old ones here that I'll probably use before I open the other one. Oh, perfect. So I'll probably be using this one. So I'll probably be using this one for the spine. So... What I do is um, I have my weekly horizontal insert, and that's always by itself. And then I have my craft folder with very random stuff, and then a blank insert where I kind of journal, doodle, or kind of just what, write whatever, or put pictures on. Um, so I find the center, put it in there and then kind of slide this band with the craft um, folder. So that's all I do it. And then before I slide it in, I also put my... I also put my weekly horizontal insert. And then I slide it into the center band. So that is my setup, and that's always been my setup and since the beginning of the year. I kind of just, um, oh. it hasn't really changed. I think the only thing that's really changed so far is um, the insert inside the craft folder. So when I'm done with one, I just slide in another one. This is the 013. have a lot to do so that is my traveler's notebook um, set up as well as my olive unboxing so I hope you guys like this video I will update you guys on how this olive is doing maybe a few months in see how um, it's kind of growy how it's patina -y. I might go ahead and um, put in some leather protector before it gets any more scratches 
But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys again later. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.